bring masculinity back. Yes, in Joshua, all right, Joshua chapter 1, verse 6 through 9, the Lord tells him to be strong and courageous. That's what we need. You guys have heard me use this slogan before the past few years. And um, so we got these shirts right here. It's all about biblical masculinity. How can we be strong in the faith, right? Stay strong in the Lord, trust in Him. That's the best thing we can do. That's the best thing we can give our Heavenly Father is our trust, all right? And that's how we can bring masculinity back. One of the ways, the most important way, is to give God our trust, right? And so these shirts, they're gonna be available February the 8th, mark it down on your calendar. There's gonna be a link in the description below, 77X brand, all right? And 77X, that comes from Matthew 18, 22. Peter comes to Jesus, asks, how many times should I forgive a brother or sister who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus says, not seven times, but 77 times, all right? And so 77xbrand.com, the link will be in the description below. These shirts are going to be dropped on February the 8th. You guys go check them out. But now we're about to get after it right here with this delicious backstrap. Organic meat. Hey, I was eating organic before organic was cool, baby. Here we go. When this deer came in, he went straight to the corn and started feeding. And as you can see, he was facing me. So I was going to wait until he turned broadside. Man, I was excited. I had plenty of light and plenty of time. But he never did turn broadside. And light started getting dimmer and dimmer. I said, I'm going to have to take this shot. It's not really an ideal angle for a recurve but I had been practicing and practicing and was prepared. And I had built an arrow heavy enough to penetrate bone. So it was now or never. Just got through shooting a deer, a buck, with my recurve, son. I'm tore up. Golly, I shot it twice. I don't even know where my first arrow went. It was right here on me, son. If you don't think it's exciting, oh, stick and string. God, I'm tore up. I gotta calm down. I don't even know if I had it on camera. Let's see, is it recording? It's recording. I had two cameras rolling. What a, what a hunt. I shot it a second time right here because it was still walking. I know I hit it the first time. It looked like it was about to fall. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Hey, old bear, Fred Bear, he'd be proud. Put the old 200 grain broadhead, single beveled edge, put it in him. Whew. I gotta come down. I gotta go get the boys. They'll be excited. Yeah. Only two hours in that quiver. That's what we like right there. Oh yeah. Look, zip right through it. Don't know where it hit. Hey, looks like it was longs. Zipped. 
had them razor sharp. That's what we like to say you right there. Yes. Let's go check this other one out. Yeah. I'm gonna go home, get the boys. I'm gonna go get the boys. They want a tracks on the moon straight up ahead. That's perfect. I love it. What about it, son? What about it? <laughs> huh? What's the game? Huh? What'd you say? Son? Go, baby! <sighs> God, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's bright enough. Oh, yeah, it's bright. Oh, it's bright. Hey, got the boys. We're out here. At the scene of where I shot the second time, it was it was sitting over here wobbling. I wasn't sure of my first shot because <clears throat> it was late. I let it feed, waited till it turned, kind of broadside. It was kind of quartering to me, but I didn't want to wait any longer for the camera. But we're on the track. Let's go, boys. Yeah, that's the first shot. Come on. Come on, this way. Nice job, Hey, Dad. it's my first one this year. I'm pretty happy. It's been a while since I've killed with the recurve. That was fun, my heart was thumping. It's gonna be some good eating. Yeah, I'm happy. All right, folks, so we're making a big carne asada burrito, but with deer back straps. Yeah, baby. So when you cut this back strap, look, we got all that silver skin right there cleaned off. So it's all nice and clean. You want to cut these strips real thin, okay? You don't want them very thick because we're going to put some lime juice on them and you don't have to marinate deer long. I know you guys heard me say it before because it's very porous. It soaks it up. But on a burrito, these strips right here, you want them kind of thin. So just like so, we're going to put that in the bowl and then we're going to take our limes. We're going to put the lime juice on them. All right, so cutting that back strap, that's what your strips look like. I usually cut those in half as well you know, cause you don't want those that large in your burrito. So sometimes you just might want to go back over it and cut them in half, maybe cut, uh, you know, according to how you want it. If you want it in smaller chunks, cut it in smaller chunks. But I usually cut them in half. We're gonna make this beefy deer steak burrito. Yes, that's looking good right there. So now we're gonna take our limes get the lime juice right here. Oh my dear me. Squeeze it like that. Go ahead and get it. And these are nice and good juicy limes. You shouldn't need more than two for what I, the amount of meat I cut up. Get your hand in there. Look at that right there. That's nice and juicy. Gonna marinate. All right, so here's our Little garlic cloves right there. I took half the bundle, pretty much. Take it, press it like that, and we're gonna mince it up real fine. I'm just gonna mince up these garlics, just like so. Nice and fine. You don't want big garlic chunks in your burrito. There we go. There's our minced garlic. Just mix it up right there with the lime juice. All right, folks, now it's time to add our spices. Right here we have some oregano. You just wanna get that, dump that over in there like that. And then this is way too much salt, pepper, and garlic, but you do wanna add 
that in there as well on this meat. Look at that, looking real nice. And then I probably should have put my avocado oil in there first. Little avocado oil, just like that. Give it a nice mix. We're getting our hands dirty right here. Wild game. It's gonna be a tasty burrito. Bringing Mascalini back. Come on, you guys know the deal. This is how we like it. This is why we hunt right here. God provides. So we got our onions and bell peppers sliced up. We're putting them to the side. Now we're gonna work right here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need some onions too. But on our pico de gallo sauce right here. So we got a jalapeno, some tomatoes, and some cilantro. And we're gonna mix up some onions with it. This is gonna be our pico sauce, all right? So we're gonna devein this jalapeno right here. Sorry if you get a few seeds in there. Hey, be a nice little surprise in your burrito. Get a little spice in your life, come on now. All right, there we go. Cutting up some nice, it'll be a nice hearty pico sauce. Oh. crunch on that burrito right there. Look at that. Toss that up together. All right, now it's time to get this sizzling. As you can tell, the lime juice is already starting to turn the deer meat brown. It's kind of like cooking itself, the acid. In there. It's gonna be nice and tender and juicy. It's gonna have a nice flavor. We got the iron skillet here. That's what we want. Yeah, baby. Nice and hot. Throw it all in there. Man, yeah, it smells wonderful. Smell that garlic and oregano. Get our onions and bell peppers. Right over here. That was a little big. All right, folks. The deer meat right here is about done, about to take it off. Remember, we cut it in thin strips, all right? When you cut it that thin, deer meat doesn't take long anyway. You don't want to overcook it. So, this is about done right here. We're gonna cut the heat off, slide it over, like so. Look at that steam. Woo, that smells good. We'll take our burrito shell. Warm it up a little bit. Right there, we're getting close. All right, here we go. We got our final ingredients right here. We're gonna take our rice first. Make a bed of rice here on our burrito shell. It's nice and hot. Oh yeah, it's looking good right there. Press it down in there. And then, take our beans right here. Black beans. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a hearty burrito, I can tell you already. Here's some of our deer. Right there. Boom. Now, onions and bell peppers. Throw a little bit of that on there. Now, bringing some color into it. Our pico de gallo. Boom. Put that on there. A little bit of lettuce. There it is now. Can I wrap it? I don't think I can. But I'm gonna eat it anyway. Right there it is. Look at that. Nice carne asada deer burrito. Mmm. Mmm. That was good. That was a hefty bite. Hey. I need a napkin too. But. Hope you guys enjoyed this hunt. Look at here. That was my first kill with a recurve this year. It was an awesome hunt. I really wanted to make a carne asada burrito. And so that was fun. Something new. Something new to try. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Appreciate you guys watching. All right, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Click the notification symbol. We'll see you next time. Real life with Lucas Black. How? <laughs>